hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be creating a weekly layout in my big sized happy planner and I'm going to be attempting the Black Lives Matter planner challenge. And this challenge was created by Queen's Fancy Plans and Katie Did Plans. And I don't have anything in my stock that, like, I really don't even know how this happened, but I don't have any black washi. <laughs> I have it ordered, I just don't have any on stock right now. So I went ahead and created some of these with my Cricut, and I kind of like that idea of creating, like, signs. And I think I'm going to end up making my own here because to me, four's just not enough. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start lining my pages up with this. And this is a quote that I found. I was having difficulty explaining the importance of stating Black Lives Matter versus um, all lives matter because that seems to be um, one of the main misunderstandings, I guess, <laughs> if that's how we're going to word it. For those of us who are not persons of color, is there seems to be this major disagreement when it is stated as Black Lives Matter and I'm not quite exactly sure myself like what the issue is because I clearly understood it. Uh, I think it's self-explanatory. Um, I don't think that you would have people out <laughs> waving signs and needing to make a statement about black lives mattering, you know, if that's the correct term there. If our society acted in a way of where it showed that they did. So to me, there was not really an issue there. So that's why I picked this wonderful statement or quote that was made by Jean Testimony Hall. I think it sums it up and it's very clear and precise. And I mean, it it says what it says, and if you still have difficulty understanding the actual basis of this movement after reading this quote, I'm not really quite sure where to go next. So I am covered in ink because this is from my inkjet printer. And so I'm just gonna quick cover up these ends here. Of course, I didn't measure my stickers. I, I thought I did. I thought I had the correct measurement. Apparently I didn't. So I'm gonna just need to quick cover up these loose ends here. And then I'm going to wash my hands because <laughs> I, I have black ink everywhere all over this page right now. <laughs> Looks like I was getting fingerprinted. So, yeah. So, okay. So, I am back. I has clean hands. <laughs> and we're going to continue on with this phrase here. And I chose to make these in white with the telesize. And it would probably help if you put that in the right place. There we go. Okay. So, that definitely would help. And I'm going to use this to cover it up while I press it down. Again, I'm trying not to smudge everything. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've worked with stickers that I've made myself. <laughs> so I forgot how messy this process could be. So let's see here. This should be it. I'm going to clean this edge up right here. I think, thankfully, they are white. And okay, so let's bring this into frame here. So it's let's be clear. We said Black Lives Matter. We never said only Black Lives Matter. That was the media, not us. And in truth, we know that all lives matter. We've supported your lives throughout history. And now we need your help with Black Lives Matter. For Black Lives are in danger. And I, again, I think that is beautifully stated. It is clear, it is concise, and it definitely does reflect on the purpose of this movement and why we all need to join together and support this. Because we clearly have, I mean, there, there is seriously a problem going on. It's, um, I'm gonna, oh, 
And these are stickers that I found from, oh, I want to get her name right. These are from Dr. Molly Designs Etsy shop. And I, like, I understand these are not all of the names. Okay, there is, like, it's a disgustingly huge list of names. But to me, like, this was, they, they were the size that I needed. Um, I'm gonna try to attempt to draw little protest signs and try to make it look like I have a little protest going across my page. And if you remember, I did make like stickers of signs, but I was only able to get three of the size that I needed. So I'm gonna try to draw these in as best as I can. I am by no means an artist, <laughs> but I figure a sign cannot be that difficult to draw. So I'm gonna go out of my comfort zone here and try to get this the way that I want it to look and try to do it respectively given the topic. And we did have a protest in my area last week, which I was actually like, I was really surprised by because I do live in a predominantly white area. Um, I'm gonna have to say, like, yeah, I, I can pretty much count the number of non-white individuals that I come into contact with in a daily basis on one hand. So it is, um, yeah, we're predominantly white here. So when I saw that there was a protest scheduled and that we actually had 150 people appear, I was just, it, I was excited for it. I mean, granted, I wish that given the circumstances, you wouldn't need to have a protest, but it was nice to see that um, we do actually have people in this area and they did appear. And it was peaceful and they came and did their thing and I'm hoping that they made those in my area a little bit more aware of why they're doing what they're doing. I mean, this, this is just, it, it's wrong. And I mean, thankfully, again, it was peaceful. There, you know, nothing, nothing came out of it that was violent in nature. And, I mean, I'm seeing some of these things. I don't really watch the news too often, but apparently when you watch the news these days, you're seeing some horrendous um, stuff on TV. And it's, it's disgusting, it's offensive, and just downright frightening. And I think Governor Cuomo said it the best is that it's a violation of decency towards humanity. Because, I mean, that, it just shouldn't be. Uh, it's, there, there's no other way of excusing it. It shouldn't be. And I do have a history in policing. I did actually follow through with the education and I did complete the training. Um, I've never went past it since that. Um, given that I am a single mother, I did have to consider the fact that I, it, to me, it wouldn't have been fair to my son. I would have been um, out of the home a lot. I would have missed a lot of birthdays, a lot of holidays. So even though that was my original attention, I had to um, decline. I had to decline that position. But I'm... I mean, from my experience through my trainings and everything that we have gone through, <laughs> what we are seeing on TV and what is occurring and what has been occurring since, I want to say, 91 with Rodney King. And granted, I do know that this extends further, like far further back than that. But I believe that 91, Rodney King would have been the first that was televised or at least recorded, which is actually helping with this Black Lives Matter movement is um, you can't justify video. You can't excuse the behavior. And I think that's what makes the death of George Floyd um, more shocking, which it shouldn't be more shocking than the others. But I think that's what made 
his death more shocking is you had a video of him and the officer in clear view, clear sight. You can hear what was being said and what was happening to that poor man. And it was just all wrong. And to me, as having like a like a police background, I kept screaming, why are the other officers just standing there? So it's not even like this man was there by himself. There were other officers involved. And I mean, at one point in time, someone should have stepped in and said, hey, you need to check yourself. You need to step over there. Um, you're not of sound mind to be dealing with this right now. You, you need to step aside because you're about to commit a crime. And I'm sorry if you disagree with that statement, but it is what it is. Um, cause I see no reason why you should have to kneel on someone's neck for over eight minutes. That's, it's unreasonable and it's uncalled for. And just simply put, it's inhumane. And I think that is what angered me the most with that is everybody just stood around and watched that poor man die. And that's, it's wrong. And like, as I said, I'm, I'm trying, <laughs> I am trying, guys, it's just, this angers me to an extreme level. And normally I am happy and bouncy and joking and we're going to have a fun week. And it's just, I can't. I, I I just, I can't be my happy self. It doesn't seem morally acceptable. Most definitely whenever I'm creating this. Um, I actually had to take a couple breaks while creating this. Because I feel... I feel like I'm in a grieving state for all of those who are affected and for our country as a whole because again this should not be occurring we should be past this and there's a wonderful um collection that again was made by dr molly designs i love how it incorporates all of the strong um black leaders of black history and i think we need to like every single one of us need to go back and just reflect on what they did, how they fought for where we are now, which I mean is <laughs> it's definitely not perfect. It's not the dream that MLK was envisioning. Um, he would be horrified right now if he saw what was going on. That's my opinion, at least. And we do have a long way, but... If you don't acknowledge that the problem exists, then you're not going to move forward with it. So I think that is very important for both sides. If you even want to say there are sides to this, I think this is all an issue that affects all of us. And it's, it's just, it's wrong. It's wrong. You should not have um, people of color... Um, being terrified to leave their homes. You should not have people of color twice, if not three times, as likely to uh, result in death if they're in contact with an officer. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, again, I'm going to go back to it, but when I was training to be an officer, you were training to protect and serve your community. And I know there's a lot of good officers out there. So I am supporting them for those of you who do actually show up to your job every day and make your communities a better place. You, you know, thank you for your service. So, and by no means am I anti-police. Um, I believe that you could both support the police and you could support the protesters at the same time. Um, both are there and they're out and they're trying to make the world a better place for everybody and a safer place. But there's some who are flawed, as you will have in any collection in the community. And again, um, officers who think that they have the right to treat an individual in this manner, 
just because of the color of their skin, it's wrong. I mean, I'm sorry, I know that that was acceptable at one time or another in history, but it is no longer acceptable and it needs to stop. And my other like what the you know moments <laughs> of the week are is I keep seeing all of these clips of police officers putting people in chokeholds like no no like there's there's reasonable force like we are trained on what the actual reasonable force is because you as a police officer you are out to again protect and serve your community so if somebody is posing a threat to themselves, to others in the community, or yourself as an officer, you are to use reasonable force to detain that individual. You are not to destroy that individual. You are to detain them. So I just, I don't know. There are so many wrongs. And as you can see, I've uh, I think I got all the signs out that I wanted. I'm not going to be able to use all of those wonderful quotes that I did get from that Etsy shop. I'm going to save those and we're going to start implementing those into later uh, later layouts because they are they're, they're very powerful statements. So I think I'm going to incorporate those into more layouts here down the road. And I am going to try to incorporate some functionality here because, again, I mean, I am kind of happy that I do have a big happy planner because it did help with incorporating all of this onto one page. I don't know if I should use one of those, but then it just, I, I think I'm going to have to stick with just the actual black labels. To me, it wouldn't match. And this is like... This is really the only sticker book I have that has like a large amount of black colored stickers in it. So I'm just saying, hey, happy planner. It's either I'm purchasing the wrong books <laughs> or, uh, well, and then I didn't really want anything that was talking about joy or hooray for today or <laughs> to me, it didn't really, didn't really fit in with this. So maybe that's what it is. Maybe I just needed some like bland straight to the point stickers which I think is you know it's doable in this today and right now and get this done so I'm still able to have some functionality here and I think I'm just going to go back to those black dots to me that's looking the best and okay so I'm just going to kind of spread these around here so that's my get that done for Sunday and I'm going to try to do like my main focal points. I'm going to try to add those onto that sidebar. So I know I started with pay the bills. I think I'm going to create like a shopping or like an errand run list over there. And of course my basic chores. So then these little bullet points here. These should be just focusing on the wonderful little to do's that I need to do for that day. And thankfully, it's not a busy week. So let's see here. I think I'm just going to return back to those ones I was working with before. I don't really like repeating things, but it looks like it's going to be a necessity. So uh, let's go back to those. And actually, I think I'm going to do that sidebar first since I know what I'm doing with it. So let's see here. I'm just going to count up the basic number of chores that I have. So let's see here. We're going to add these and I'm going to throw in my chores and I'll just make like little dashes across with a pen later on and then that way I'll write my chores in. So let's peel this off. And yes, it's taking forever to do this because I never cut them with the Cricut and it's really hard to get the backing off a clear sticker when you don't cut it so yeah and yeah I'm gonna go ahead and throw in my shopping list there too I just decided it's for the best so that's gonna be my errands so you know do I need to purchase a tanning package since it just came up are we actually going to have hair cutting salons open you know so is that something I need to do grocery shopping um, any shopping for Ray, you know, those type of things. Uh, Bert, I know I'm going to need to get cat food. So I'm going to add that to that list. 
And again, I'm just trying really hard to tear apart one of those stickers. And then as I'm doing this, I am thinking about it. And it's like, yeah, I'm going to stick with what I originally have here on this page. I'm not going to change it up with like today's plan or let's make a list or yeah, I'm just going to continue with what I have. And I'm just telling you guys, I mean, just from looking, looking at that statement going across the page, that's, that's powerful. That, I mean, he couldn't have said that any better. That's, I'm liking this. This is coming out, this is coming out nicely. And one way I was almost afraid to take part in the challenge because the last thing I want to do is offend anybody. I really hope that I don't. Um, if I do, I mean, in one way I'm going to apologize. That was not my intention. I am supporting those who need support right now. And feel free to leave in the comments down below if there is anything that you suggest that we can do to help move this forward and make it, um, whew, what's the word I want to look for to actually, instead of just having yins come out like every six months or a year with new signs, um, I would actually like to see some change. <laughs> so if you need help getting noticed, <laughs> or, I mean, anything, if there is anything that we can do to better ourselves, to better your cause here, um, feel free to leave it in the comments. I am open to anything. Because, again, um, it, it, this is wrong. And it needs, we need change. Most definitely. Um, I mean, after seeing, I want to say it was Elise who made the planner layout where she had a lot of names that were in her center row. And it's that, I mean, she did a beautiful job. It was a beautiful layout, but I mean, that was disturbing. That was absolutely disturbing to know that that is basically the norm and that shouldn't be the norm. So I changed my mind up here. I th I am going to go ahead and outline these signs. I'm I'm liking them. I like the way that they look. So I'm going to be a little bit brave here and I'm going to take my Tombow mono drawing pen. It is a size 5 and I'm going to outline these signs the best I can. And I'm going to try to get those shading diagonals facing the right way. I think maybe that's what made it look a little funny. Again, I'm not an artist. <laughs> By no means. I have no education on how shading in that is supposed to be done. <laughs> These are literally quick doodles. So uh, please, you know, be kind. <laughs> I tried my best and I'm trying to do this in a dignified manner as much as possible because again this is just it's oh it's horrendous this is straight up horrendous and I do I understand because I already know that there's going to be comments on here that there's other people than black people who die from police and there are police who die while they're on duty and I do I understand that I, I mean of course it is going to occur we don't live in a fantasy world or a unicorn world where everybody runs outside and nothing bad ever happens. I get that. We are humans. But to me, it's just, this is inexcusable. And the things that we are seeing on TV right now, which thankfully we have the power of filming, which I think is what we were missing before. Because you just had statements. And I've been in that situation myself. Um, with me being a woman versus a man statement. 
And I do get that, that your statement is less credible than the other parties. <laughs> oh, you gotta love it. So, I, I mean, that is the closest I can get to understanding this situation is I have been discriminated against myself just because of the gender. And to me, with it being the color of your skin, that has to amplify it to, like, no extreme. And, I mean, yeah, I fear sometimes being out and about in public if I'm in the wrong area, which, unfortunately, like, I'm describing, like, a parking lot, like a Walmart parking lot by myself if it's getting a little too dark outside. Um, yeah, there is a fear to personal safety. But I'm going to have to say... <laughs> Uh, I don't have to fear the police. Those are the people who I call to protect me. So this, this is different. So, I mean, that's the closest I can come to the full empathy or understanding the situation. So for that and actually trying to personalize it, I am deeply sorry. So, uh, okay. So I'm thinking we are done guys I think this is all I'm gonna put on there because I don't want it to be I want it to be very clear I think that statement speaks very well for itself and that's it so I mean I basically just used a Tombow a pencil I used some of these stickers from Dr. Molly Designs and of course some stickers from this 1486 original sticker book and I do want to say thank you so much for watching. I do greatly appreciate it. And again, any comments and feedback is also greatly appreciated. I wish you all a wonderful and safe rest of your day.